Strokes and heart attacks are all rapid and fatal consequences of thrombosis. The peculiarity of thrombosis is that it is often asymptomatic. Are you sure that you do not have a thrombus? Let's look at the causes of blood clots and ways to protect against them. Please give us a like and let's get started. If you were to poll the population on the most common cause of death, you would likely name cancer, cardiovascular disease, and complications from viral infections. Despite the fact that blood clots are one of the leading causes of death, few people will broach the subject. While a blood clot forms by attaching to the wall of a blood vessel, vein, or artery, its growth causes little or no obvious symptoms in nearly 60% of cases. However, when the clot breaks off and clogs the artery, complications develop lightning fast. In most countries, one in two patients who have a blood clot block the artery that delivers blood to the lungs die within half an hour. The clot simply breaks away from the vessel wall, travels through the bloodstream and clogs the artery, resulting in respiratory arrest. That's horrible. Two questions immediately arise. What is a blood clot and how do you know if you have one? A clot is a blood clot. Blood can clot, and this is normal. It is a protective reaction to prevent more blood loss when you are injured or cut. Platelets, the cells that repair tissue, are responsible for clotting blood. It is very common for platelets to end up in an area where the vessel wall is damaged. This happens with smoking, high blood sugar, blood pressure spikes, sedentary lifestyle, and excess cholesterol. Platelets come to the rescue to seal the vessel, but sometimes they can overdo it, and instead of closing the hole in the wall, a blood clot forms. A blood clot has three ways to develop. Grow by obstructing blood flow, break off and clog the artery, or dissolve. For a blood clot to follow the last, most favorable scenario, you need to quickly determine, do you have a blood clot? Or maybe you have more than one. It is believed that one in four people on the planet is at risk of thrombosis, and blood clots can form in any part of the body since blood vessels pervade it completely. Depending on where the clot forms, in the veins or arteries, the symptoms will be different. When a blood clot forms in an artery, you should pay attention to several signs. For example, the appearance of coldness in the limb. In this case, the clot partially blocks the artery, reducing blood flow. There is also pallor of the skin due to impaired blood circulation, weak pulse, irregular blood pressure, intermittent claudication, numbness or tingling in the limbs. Other symptoms include a bump, darkening of the skin, peeling, and in the worst cases, necrosis, although these cases are rare. However, it is much more common for blood clots to form in veins. In deep vein thrombosis, blood clots form in the vessels of the lower leg or thigh, causing swelling, reddening of the skin, moderate or asymmetric swelling of the extremities, and dull pain. If the clot breaks off and travels down an artery to the lungs, it can cause a pulmonary artery blockage. This acute condition is accompanied by severe shortness of breath, chest pain, palpitations, hemoptysis, and difficulty breathing. These symptoms are similar to myocardial infarction, so the diagnosis of pulmonary artery thrombosis is made after excluding a heart attack. It is important to react quickly and call an ambulance as this condition is often fatal. The only proper treatment for pulmonary artery thrombosis is a combination of drug therapy and surgery. If you notice such symptoms, be sure to see a doctor. Even if it turns out not to be thrombosis, such manifestations are clearly a threat to your health. Thrombosis is quite common. About one in four people can develop a blood clot. However, the likelihood of thrombosis can be reduced by knowing the risk factors people over the age of 65 are more susceptible to thrombosis due to the condition of their blood vessels. Long trips during which you don't change your body position and a sedentary lifestyle, often accompanied by obesity, are also risk factors. Smoking and cancer can aggravate the situation, as they contribute to the spasm of blood vessel walls. By the way, a healthy lifestyle may not always provide protection against thrombosis. Unfortunately, there is also a genetic predisposition to thrombosis. If your parents and grandparents suffered from thrombosis, you may be at increased risk. Therefore, 
it is important for everyone to be aware of the signs of thrombosis and, if they occur, to see a doctor for the necessary tests. More information on this topic can be found on this channel. Subscribe, put likes and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.